After 33 years of marriage, former NBA sharpshooter Dale Curry and his wife Sonya Curry, who are also the parents of NBA players Stephen Curry and Seth Curry, are headed towards divorce court. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the man. Now, I do not enjoy indulging in gossip. I hate it with a passion, in fact. Anyone that knows me, I don't do the gossip. However, having a podcast, having a YouTube channel, I like to analyze and dive into current events and the lives of celebrities when these things appear on my radar. Reason being, we can learn a lot. We can learn a lot. These stories are viewable, of course, to the masses. And so I like to dissect them and see what I can learn, what we can learn and, and move forward. Uh, it also lets us know that at the end of the day, we're all the same. When you strip all the superficial stuff, the materialistic things, the homes, the money, the cars, the jewelry, the fame, all superficial. When you strip all that down, we're all the same. We got the same fears, the same ups and downs. Hey, this brother have, has have marital issues. Bill Gates is getting a divorce. I don't know if it's finalized. Bill Gates, right? Everybody has the issues, man. And uh, it's just, it's a reality. So that's why I put nobody on a pedestal. And I put no one below me. I look every man eye to eye because I know when we strip all this stuff, we're all the same. Now, Dale Curry, former NBA sharpshooter, three-point specialist. He did uh, most of his time with uh, Charlotte, the Charlotte Hornets. I think he spent about 10 years with them. In all, he spent, I believe, 15 seasons in the NBA. Uh, he was with maybe three other teams. But the bulk of his career was with the Charlotte Hornets. I think they're called the Charlotte Bobcats now. So I remember Dale, man, when I was a young kid. Uh, he didn't have a lot of flair to his game. You know, very uh, fundamentally sound, but that boy could shoot. And I mean that, no disrespect, call him a boy. He could shoot. Now, you guys may know, uh, you got to be under a, a rock, really, not to know this name. Uh, Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry, uh, two-time MVP, two-time NBA champion, uh, one of the best players uh, to ever do it. Yeah, he plays point guard for the Golden State Warriors. Talented, talented brother. He shoots even better than his father. And that, that should be expected. You know, uh, we should learn from our father and, and build on it in anything we do. Right? So if your father was a bricklayer, uh, it's natural for you to pursue the, uh, the career he pursued. And you should be even better bricklayer. Because you're taking what he has and then you build it on top of that from experiences and knowledge you attain on your own. So, yeah, Stephen Curry is even better player than his father ever was. He also has another son in the NBA, Seth. Seth Curry. Seth is a, uh, is a respectable player. He hasn't made an all-star team, but he's going to be in the league for a while. Yeah, he, he's going to be in the league for a while and... Uh, so, man, that's a great feat to have two children in the NBA doing well, making millions, making an impact, and uh, just doing their thing, man. That's a beautiful thing. Now, they have a third child. Uh, cannot remember her name right now, but <laughs> no disrespect to her. But, uh, you know, they have a third child. She's the youngest. Now, this came on my radio, radar yesterday that Dale and his wife, Sonya, the kid's mother, Sonya Curry, are getting a divorce after 33 years of marriage. Now, I've been looking at people's blogs and, and channels and their take on it. And of course, your guy SD book is going to come different. And uh, that's just what it is, man. That's, that's how I'm built. That's how I'm wired to think objectively and try to look at things in a 360 view. Now, there's been a lot of reports, a lot of mud slinging, 
going back and forth between the two. And uh, it looks like it could get nasty. So both are accusing the other of infidelity. And um, hey, man, that, that's, that's nothing new. Uh, things happen. 33 years of marriage, things happen, man. He's an NBA player, traveled a lot. She uh, was somewhat of a stay-at-home mom, never really had a nine-to-five. And, um, you know, did a lot of charity work, built a monastery uh, Christian school, which her kids attended when they were young. And so she's lived a pretty uh, luxurious life, man, I, I would say. You know, she didn't have the stresses of your typical mother, your typical wife, having to work a nine-to-five. And... Uh, so, hey, man, it lasted 33 years. Now, that's a damn good run. You know, I see people saying, man, she wants to leave him after 33 years. And, and uh, this is why brothers don't get married. Listen, man, everything is not going to last forever. Some things will. Some things just run its course. You have a few victories or you know, you have a bunch of losses or you have a mix of the two, it's run its course. People have different ambitions, different agendas, and uh, or they just lose focus with one another and they go the separate ways. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm not gonna bash her because she's leaving the brother after 33 years. Uh, she says that, uh, He's been, he, he's cheated throughout the uh, relationship, throughout the marriage. It was a hidden secret. Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, well, open secret. That's what she said, an open secret. So I guess certain people knew about it. It wasn't a complete secret. Certain people knew about it, but the masses didn't know. It wasn't out in the public, nor should it be. Um, you know, I wish no one had infidelity. I think, you know, it's better if everyone could just be honest and uh, whatever agreement you come to. Or, hey man, just keep between you two. Whatever you two decide. But I think everybody needs to be in the know, on the up and up, whatever choices they make. So I don't agree with deception, lying, cheating. You know, I don't I don't uh, support that. Just be on the up and up, be honest, and uh, don't try to manipulate the situation and manipulate people for control. Now, he fired back and said that uh, she's currently living with a gentleman. Uh, so, man, look at that, man. They're still married. Uh, she's, she's, she says she doesn't live with this gentleman. She is dating. She doesn't live with him. And that Dell said she could not live in the house anymore. Well, yeah, well, Sonya Dell's right. You know, if you're going to uh, have a relationship, an ongoing relationship, you know, not a hiccup, but an ongoing relationship with a gentleman, yeah, you can't you can't live in the house. <laughs> I mean, I think that's that's logical. That's pretty reasonable. You can't live in the house like that unless he agrees upon it. But I totally understand him saying, "Hey, man, you gotta get out." So uh, that's just what that is. So she's saying she only started dating this gentleman after they separated, and he kicked her out. Uh, I don't believe that. I don't believe Dale, after 33 years, would just kick her out or say she can't live in the house just because they're not working out. Uh, I don't believe that. And I don't believe that she would just leave under those circumstances. No. I do believe she was seeing this gentleman and Dale was like, hey, man, if you're gonna, you can do your thing. You just can't do your thing while living in this house with me. You got to go. She didn't want to give up her thing, so she left. I believe that's more realistic. I just can't see a woman that was in a marriage for 33 years, just leaving the home, uh, and she's not seeing anyone else. She's leaving her home. She's not seeing anyone else, but begins seeing someone after she leaves the home. I don't think any, any uh, uh, family judge, family court judge is going to buy that. Now, for people saying, hey, this is why brothers don't get married. Man, nah, this is not why brothers don't get married. Listen, man, this is an excuse 
for not getting married for brothers who want an excuse. Listen, man, this is a damn good run. 33 years, man. Um, 15 years is a good run. 20 years is a good run. 33 years. They raised three kids. Two are in the NBA. Uh, Self-sufficient men. And uh, got a daughter who I'm sure is doing well. And uh, it's a good run. So I don't knock her. I don't knock him. You know, like I said, everything will not last forever. To death do us part. Everything doesn't go that way. Now, what I do have a problem with is she wants uh, alimony, right? Now, um, I don't know, man. That, that, that's tricky. For one, I don't think she should get alimony if she was seeing this dude while they were together, while they were living in the same home. I don't think she should get alimony if they were not legally separated, legally, just because uh, she left, you know, and, and he said leave, or you can leave, that's not a legal separation, right? You have to go through the courts to get a legal separation. So she wants some of his money. I, I just don't agree with that. Number two reason I don't agree with it. Listen, man, she had 33 years to build her own thing. She did. She had 33 years. Um, she was married to a millionaire, multi-millionaire. And you're telling me she couldn't build her own thing with the connections, with the relationships, with the rapports established throughout his career? She couldn't build her own thing and create her own revenue of wealth. I don't believe it. You know, she did build a monastery, monastery uh, Christian school, which was, I'm, I'm sure, built through the earnings of uh, Dale Curry. She did that. She could have did something else. She could have she could have built some other businesses. You know, uh, so I don't have sympathy for her on that. I looked at an interview she gave and I uh, had a lot of problems with the interview. For one, when I when I look at interviews she gives and I look at uh, editorials with her, the writer or the interviewer always creates this narrative and asks these questions of, how are you able to raise or create two children in the NBA? I hate that. It's as if she's a single parent. It's as if they don't have a father. It's as if they don't have the DNA of a former NBA player who's in the league for at least 15 years. They just dismiss his ex existence. It's crazy, man. It's crazy to me. Uh, another problem I have is in one of these interviews that created that narrative that as if she's a single mother. Uh, she said that uh, one of her regrets is she couldn't just be a mother. She had to be a disciplinarian. She couldn't just be a mother. And that's one of her regrets. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Not to come down on the women, man, but a lot of these women, I think most women are delusional. For her to say, one of her regrets is she just couldn't be a mother, that she also had to be a disciplinarian. Shows that, man, she doesn't have a clue. She's delusional. Listen, man, the, the typical mother has to be a worker, has a nine to five, right? Which Sonya Curry did not have. Has to also discipline the children, right? Has to also, if we're having that nine to five, break, bed, break bread on the bills and things needed in and around the home. 
And some mothers are single, are actually single, raising a child alone, getting no child support, raising a child alone, no support at all. Uh, I'm sure Sonya Curry drove the best of cars, never had to worry about repairs on her car, had the best of homes, no worries there. Probably had a cook, maybe. Probably had a nanny, you know, maybe. Strong possibility. That's not far-fetched. And uh, lived in a great community. She was able to watch over her kids in the school, teach her kids and watch over them in the school. Her husband <laughs> helped her build with his money. And for her to say, her greatest regret is she just couldn't be a mother. She had to be a disciplinarian also. Shows me, like I said, she doesn't have a clue. And uh, it kind of shows me what Dale has been dealing with for years. But the brother hung in there. The brother hung in there, gave a good 33 years. I'm sure he did his dirt. NBA player, traveling a lot. On the road a lot, man. 82 game season, uh, not including the playoffs. Hey, I'm sure things things probably happen, man. You know, it's not far fetched. She probably did her thing also, uh, and you know things happen. Uh, but I just hate that it can get dirty, and that this man may be uh, in jeopardy of losing a lot of his money, and. Uh, you know, that's crazy, you know, and uh, she had every opportunity to uh, monetize that marriage, monetize the relationships and do her own thing. You know, it's a lot of women listening right now would jump at that opportunity she had. It's a lot of women listening like, man, I could flip that relationship into something else. I could flip those connections into something else. And she didn't. She didn't, man. Looks, looks, looks like she got lazy. And uh, now she wants alimony after 33 years. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with it. Um, listen, no one's perfect. I'm sure they both did their thing. But uh, I don't think she's been totally forthcoming on her dealings with this gentleman on the side. And Dale knows it. And he doesn't want to break bread. And I don't think he should have to. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I want to end with this, too. You know, I, I saw the last few years, Stephen Curry, the son, the all-star, the champion, his wife, I think her name is Aisha, his wife has uh, been very vocal on social media about how um, there's some jealousy within her and that she's kind of bitter or jealous that she doesn't get hit on, that people are not in her DMs hitting on her and that, that, and that she doesn't get as much attention as her husband does. She's expressed this. Uh, She's made a lot of videos <clears throat> twerking. Uh, and this is a married woman, man, married to an NBA all-star, clean cut guy, never been in any trouble, team player. She's out there twerking, wanting attention, expressing that she craves attention, expressing that she is insecure, expressing that she is jealous of her husband. And then you got his mother who was called on tape about five years ago, twerking on Stefan's old college teammate at a game. This is on tape, man. Look it up. She's twerking. And she's married and with Dell at the time. She's still married, but I believe they were together, actually together at the time. And she's twerking on her son's college teammate, old college teammate, at one of the son's NBA games. Say, man, Stefan married a replica of his mother. Insecure, man, insecure. 
uh, attention craving, delusional, unappreciative, unappreciative. Hey, man, I like the way LeBron James' wife rocks, man. She keeps it classy, stay low key, and uh, she focuses on raising those kids and being a supportive wife. And she lives a great life. I guarantee she le le lives a great life. LeBron not only takes care of her, man. He takes care of her whole family. <laughs> when they moved to Miami, when he played for Miami Heat, you know, his wife said, hey, I'm going to support you, but I want my family there. And I get it, man. Miami's a party town. That's not somewhere a woman who's focused on raising a family and being a supportive wife wants to be with no support system. So he moved her family down there to Miami. I think he's with Miami three to four years. Moved her, moved her family and parents down there to stay so she can have a support system. Those are two wise people. Those are two people doing it the right way. And I respect that. Now you look at Stephen Curry's wife, Aisha, I believe her name is, and his mother, Sonya Curry. Two totally different women, man, from, from LeBron's wife. Uh, it's safe to say Stephen married his mother. And brothers, I've said this before, man. We are subconsciously drawn to our woman, to our mother. Uh, the types of women our mothers are. Uh, we're drawn to that subconsciously. And I say subconsciously because we're not aware. We're not awake. We're not alert. We're not mindful that, hey, this is stuff I have to avoid that I didn't like in my mother. And this is stuff I want to be drawn to that I did like in my mother. Because, hey, your mother's not perfect. My mother's not perfect. My wife's a mother. She's not perfect. So it's certain things, man, you can subconsciously be drawn to that you end up hating or you end up suffering from because you were not awake, you were not mindful, you were not alert to look out for these certain things. So it's no coincidence this brother's mom is twerking on his old teammate in a game on TV, married, and his wife is on IG twerking for attention. No coincidence. Hey, let me know what you think. From me to you, as always, love. Peace.